Well, it's looking like Venom The Last Dance might actually be a bomb. So, those reviews that were coming out, not great. Not great. Those first reviews were not great. And now Deadline has revised down the projected opening weekend box office. And it's not looking good. It's really not looking good. So, let's take a look at uh, Venom The Last Dance. So, Deadline says... With the last couple of October weekends stateside being off from the strike laden marketplace a year ago, <sighs> here's hoping that superhero sequelitis and moviegoers' erratic attitudes toward prestige fair don't push the theatrical marketplace down further. But I don't know why they're saying this because the way they've hedged their bets on this in terms of the box office opening is really quite bad, actually. So, Sony this weekend has its Marvel title Venom The Last Dance, which is bound to see its lowest opening in the trilogy, stateside, which is the important place. It's where they make their most money. Uh, so, the previous installments, Venom Let There Be Carnage was uh, open to 90 million, and then the, the first one, back in 2018, opened to 80.2, which is all in all pretty good, to be honest. But this one, my God... So US and Canada pre-sales and tracking indicates that Venom The Last Dance is going to be under Black Adam at $65 million. I mean, that's real bad. Overseas, it's only looking at $85 million, maybe a little bit more. And they reckon it will come in about $150 million total worldwide for the opening weekend. Yeah, I mean, it's not great. So the movie itself cost $120 million before P&A. Um, previous installments were around 110 So it's not like drastically higher. In fact, actually, the, the ability for them to still come in at 120 is brilliant based on inflation and things like that. That's, that is actually really good, genuinely, for them to still be able to do that. So, you know, 120 million, 240 to break even just based on the production costs. You still got marketing on top of it. They've had a pretty big marketing campaign. So you're probably looking at another 100 million on top of it. And I know that sounds like quite a large number, but they have had quite a big marketing campaign. So, you know, th this will. <sighs> yeah, will it make money? I don't know, you know. It's tricky because Venom Let There Be Carnage did. It really did not do very well. And there's a bad taste in people's mouth because of that as well. So previews in US Canada start at 2pm on Thursday. Young males under 25 for the first in. Followed by older males over 25, which is to be expected on a comic book movie. The latest Venom is directed by the franchise's longtime writer. And also the producer, Kelly Marcel. Tom Hardy co-wrote the script with her. And also produces in a story about Eddie and his nefarious alter ego, Venom, being on the run. Um, so the previous two Venoms uh, received a B-plus cinema score, which is about average, to be fair. Um, so reviews to dollars, the franchise, it says, has been critic-proof, with the first movie seeing a 30% rotten on Rotten Tomatoes, and part two improving to 57% rotten. Which is a bit of a weird one, to be honest, because the second one was terrible. So, in terms of numbers and figures and things like that, again, still weird that you know, the second one was so bad, but raised on Rotten Tomatoes. I guess that goes to show you just how bad critics are, hey? Uh, the first Venom, I think they've got their numbers messed up here, by the way. Uh, made $213.5 million domestic and $856 million worldwide. Uh, Let There Be Carnage made apparently exactly the same money domestically. $213.5 million. Did it really? Did it actually make exactly the same amount? Because if so, that's a weird. That's super weird fluke, but all right. Uh, but worldwide, you can see how Let There Be Carnage fell off the face of the planet. $506.8 million worldwide. And I thought we'd just take a look at the figures here as well. So Venom... Uh, I think it's Venom, Venom Let There Be Carnage. Yeah, Venom Let There Be Carnage had 84% on Rotten Tomatoes, 57 um, in terms of critics uh, and audiences. Now, Venom did 80. 
25,000 plus ratings, 30% for critics. So, but Venom Let There Be Carnage only had 10,000 ratings. So that's the difference, guys. It might be a bit higher, but it goes to show you that the people who went to watch the first one checked out instantly. This is what's important to note when you're looking at Rotten Tomatoes is it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily immediately obviously just the figure itself. You know, like 84%, oh yeah, it is higher. But a significantly reduced portion of people were coming back to watch it to then review it. Only 10,000. You know? And then if we get, again, Venom, 25,000 plus. So it just it just goes to show, doesn't it? Right? So Venom The Last Dance starts its international rollout Wednesday. Uh, and will be out in 90% of the offshore landscape this weekend before adding France and Japan down the road. So apparently it's being released today, but there's no reviews coming in yet. In China, The Last Dance is leading midweek pre-sales. However, given the overall softness of the market, we're not expecting anywhere near the first film's $107 million launch. Let There Be Carnage came out staggered as the pandemic was easing. Geopolitics were different back then with Russia, apparently contributing a lot to that film's start. So Venom 2 at the time fed audiences hungry as the pandemic eased. It did 58% of its business overseas versus the first movie 75%. So... I think this one's going to be a bomb, to be fair. I do. I think this will be a massive problem for Venom. Again, worse than Black Adam on an opening. I mean, that's bad. Like, that's genuinely bad. It's predicted a $65 million opening. That's bomb territory. So, I just thought, you know, let, let's talk through how much it needs to earn. Now, the second one, it's important to note, did $506 million worldwide on a $110 million budget. 110 means it needed 100, uh, 220 to break even. Plus, maybe give or take $75 million or so for marketing, so another $150 million. So it needed 300, just sub, uh, just under 400 million to break even, give or take. Again, somewhat of an overestimate, but just give or take, right? And it did $506 million worldwide. So you can see why they would have made another one. Um, this one costing a little bit more. But also expected to open significantly less. I think this could be the first one that gets to. And here's my hot prediction. I think this could be the first one that gets to around the 450 mark. I, I think it will struggle to hit $500 million worldwide. It won't be a bomb by that stage, but the studio won't be happy. So I guess you could kind of quantify it as a bomb. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Again, worse than Black Adam as an opener. That's it's bad. It's real bad. So drop your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gents. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now.